Hey everyone, it's Stone from Modern Overviews coming at you with a review. <laughs> oh god, I really don't want to do this one. But yes, I am doing a review for Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi. And I saw this literally last night. I saw this like, <laughs> like midnight last night. I've had a whole day to think about it. And we're and we're gonna talk about it. Um I'm not there's no spoilers whatsoever. I'm gonna try to tiptoe around the plot as much as humanly possible. There might be a video down the line talking more in depth about spoilers and portions of the plot, so on and so forth, but totally spoiler free, no need to worry. But yeah, Star Wars The Last Jedi. I was super pumped for this movie. I thought episode seven, The Force Awakens, was very good. It was very enjoyable. It was a great return to Star Wars. So thinking with a good groundwork, and that they don't have to obey the standards and the Star Wars story. You don't have to continue with the same thing over and over again. And I was very excited to see what they would do. Unfortunately, I I was not that into this. I was not... Disappointed is a good word to describe it. I didn't really like The Last Jedi. Plain and simple. And I've been paying attention to a lot of critics and a lot of voices online and this is a polarizing movie and I'm gonna try my best to describe why I don't like it why I don't think it's great I'm not gonna be try to be the uh, loud obnoxious fanboy because I do think this film has a lot of problems like a lot of problems there are some good things to be had with The Last Jedi but me personally and the group of people I went with we were not fans this kind of killed my mood for episode 9 so let's just get right into it now I'm gonna start with the good things first of course as I always do. The visuals in general were very good. There were actually some very fantastic looking sequences specifically the ending sequence and a couple of interesting shots and design choices that were very interesting and looked really nice but that's kind of how Star Wars has always been. And I'll give the movie this. It is not predictable. It, theorizing of years I don't I don't I, it's it's in the fucking toilet like it none of that matters. This movie was a surprise from start to finish. I had no idea where the plot was going. I could have guessed a million things and I still wouldn't have like made a dent or been even close to what actually happens. And to most that's a very good thing and I, I agree that was a good thing because it did keep me on my toes even if I did find things not as exciting. And while I didn't think the comedy as a whole worked, I, there was a lot of unfunny moments, there were some things in it that were funny. There were some jokes and gags that were funny, so I'll give it that. And in terms of just like the characters, I re I like Luke. I like seeing Luke again. I like seeing Luke Skywalker back in Star Wars, just being Luke. I thought Mark Hamill slid back into the role really well, as well as Carrie Fisher. She just slid right back into Princess Leia incredibly well, even though she did just the same in the last movie. And now from here on out, it's gonna be my negatives, guys. Like I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I really did not enjoy the last Jedi. I I. I left very feeling very conflicted and disappointed. Now going back to the acting, I didn't think the acting was bad per se. I'm just gonna lob this in first because it's kind of like a middle ground. I just don't think that it was the same. I mean, Mark Hamill was great. Carrie Fisher was good. Daisy Ridley as Rey was fine. She was fine, but like a lot of these characters, they don't really go anywhere. There's a couple select few. I will say Poe had a good story arc. He didn't even get one in the first movie, so that was that was a pleasant surprise. But Rey's own development while I understood what was happening I didn't think it was handled the best that it could have been and I felt like it was a little rushed and there were some other characters Kylo Ren continues to be an interesting villain even though I do think um I, I do think Adam Driver was overacting a little bit in this one like I said before just to brush this out of the way the comedy overall I didn't think really worked there was comedy in moments that didn't need to be comedic they could have been serious and you know more dramatic but they throw in a joke in there just to get a get a laugh and I don't think it worked particularly well and this is a long ass movie this movie is like two like about 240 a little under that it's like about 230 235 whatever but it's a long movie and it, you feel that length I really felt the length and because of that I did think most of this the majority of this movie was very boring like I didn't I, it wasn't super exciting there were exciting sequences there were moments that were very exciting and got and like reinvigorated my body as I was watching it. But most of those scenes come much further into the movie, near the end, pretty much. This is the problem. Most of my problems are with the story and how they handle things and the things the characters are doing. None of it's particularly interesting besides the stuff with Ray and Luke. That stuff kept me interested the whole movie. 
but the stuff with the resistance I wasn't really into but the the biggest flaw of the of the plot is the Finn and Rose portion of the movie you could have cut this portion out completely would not have changed a single thing it was utterly pointless like there was it it happened and then none of it mattered not a well one thing one thing mattered at the end of the movie for people who have seen it you you know what I'm talking about but that portion completely pointless but that seems to be the common the common problem everyone has with the last Jedi is the Finn and Rose portion but when you look at the whole movie the plot didn't really go anywhere they started in one spot they kind of ended in the same spot but not as but not as much so in a good position they the resistance is in a much worse position but the way they got there wasn't particularly interesting or riveting not to mention there were a lot of characters that were just thrown thrown out the window like they were wasted potential characters from from episode 7 that return wasted they're either disposed of or they're just not developed whatsoever new characters that they introduce aren't particularly interesting or disposed of so they're introducing new characters they have these new characters and they do almost they do next to nothing with them the only characters they, they seem to be wanting to do anything with is Rey obviously she's the main character and Poe which was an interesting choice and of course Kylo Ren because he's the antagonist so it's it's it's, it is what it is. Now, I'm trying to take this super seriously because I'm not looking to be the super aggressive, angry fanboy. You're allowed to like this movie. I respect everyone's opinion. I can see why people like this movie. Um, it is much more different than The Force Awakens and even the original trilogy, which I will commend it for. It really tried to go out of the box, tried some new ideas, but I don't think everything particularly worked. I thought there was some wasted potential here. I, I think the story itself could have really been repurposed and moved around. They could have added some things that would have fleshed some things out. And overall, I just thought it was very dull and super boring, but I'm not alone. It seems a lot of others aren't really enjoying this and seem disappointed. So besides a couple of things that I enjoyed, like the visuals, some of the characters, some of the comedy, some good surprise in the, and the fact that it is a fairly original piece compared to other Star Wars movies. Once again, I thought the story itself was dull and bogged down. A lot of things weren't making sense, weren't adding up. There were some plot, some big plot holes among many other things. Um, unfortunately, I, I'm going to give the Star Wars The Last Jedi a 4 out of 10. I feel really bad giving it that score. I really wanted to like this one. But I just felt let down, and that's just my honest opinion. If you don't like it, that's perfectly okay. Just don't get aggressive about it i guess but <laughs> who's that never happens on the internet so you guys if you saw the last jedi please i would actually love for you guys to comment what you thought of the last jedi are you with me did you really not like it did you love it did you think this is one of the best star wars movies i've seen people saying this is the best star wars movie since <laughs> that this is the best star wars movie since empire and while i think that movie being like empire is a launch shot like i really don't think they're in the same league whatsoever i really would like to know what why like why guys so you can like this video you can also subscribe to my channel for more videos i will probably most likely be doing a spoiler talk kind of thing about the last jedi to kind of dig deeper into my problems and what i didn't particularly think worked so yeah i hope you liked what you guys saw and i will see you guys next time